Welcome to the jungle. This is my garden at home here. Hopefully you guys can see this. The camera's fogging up. So we got oregano, habanero, parsley. Actually that's parsley. I got oregano down there somewhere. It's so humid in the jungle that I gotta keep cleaning the lens. But anyway, I'm going in. Gonna grab some. Uh, sp here's the. Here's the. Uh, geez. Gotta keep wiping the lens. Here's some mint. So I'm gonna take a couple of these and use the mortar. Mortar and pestle. And make that tea up that Dave was uh, talking about. Whoops, I'm dropping more than I'm getting. Really humid today, guys. I finished, uh... Ow! I finished, uh, siliconing at the trailer. Didn't take me too long. So that's done. I got... We got a ton of, uh... Look at that massive zucchini in there. That's ready to be harvested. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's so humid that I gotta keep doing the lens over and over. I'm gonna go pull that zucchini and then uh, we got some more coming in. So, uh, yeah. Talk All to right you guys, so here's that massive zucchini I pulled out of the garden. Fresh, I gotta wash it still, but it's got some dirt. I threw the uh, mint leaves into the mortar, and I got the pestle here. Um, and then I'm gonna grind that up. I gotta grab a coffee cup first and make myself a nice green tea with the mint and try that out. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add my ingredients. Um, we got some ginger some cinnamon and we got some uh, nose candy Ooh. <laughs> I'm just joking this is uh, ground ginseng um, I got my mortar pestle we got some mint leaves in here I didn't know exactly how many I'm gonna need got the green tea bag and I got some honey so let's set the camera down somewhat and hopefully you guys will be able to see what the heck I'm doing. Tripod's at the trailer right now. Okay. We'll add some of this. I got the water on the kettle on the induction cooker right now. So it shouldn't be too long at all. And there it goes. I can hear it. Love that induction cooker. You'd think all the restaurants would have one of those, have a setup like that, just because of how quickly it boils water. But I guess, well, there is a kind of a learning curve with it. It's not like a regular stove top or whatever. So let's get some honey. This batch of honey is just about out. Got to dig deep for this stuff. Should run this under some warm water to liquefy it again. Cause honey's expensive. That's enough. All right, I'm gonna shut the induction cooker off. That'll kill the kettle. And then, what do we got? Mortar pestle. Let's grind this puppy up. I'll try and hold this while I'm doing it. Smells really nice. So I think I smashed it up enough. I'll dump that into the there she goes. And then I'll add the hot water.
really need to bring the tripod back for some of these videos. guy let that sit and cool down I have to wash the mortar thing out give it a good stir let that honey dissolve oops forgot the green tea bag better get that in there hard to do with one hand there we go paper in my tea. There we go. So I'm going to let that steep for a while. Then I'm just going to use the spoon and take the leaves out after a little bit. Um, yeah, so that should work. Try this out. Dave recommended this from my YouTube channel. So thanks Dave for that. He used tea bags though. I'm actually using the plant direct without being dried so we'll try that out and I'll tell you how it is so that's it for now guys all right guys I just finished that tea off it was actually pretty good with the mint in there I left the leaves in um, the entire uh, time until it was gone and yeah yeah thanks Dave for that recommending that um, I have that paper towel holder that I got from the dollar store uh, last time and I'm just I have the lid jacked up here just to air it out because when I did run that for that one day that condensated and there was water laying in here so I'm just air drying that out because you don't want to leave water in there you get mold or whatever so yeah I'm just air drying that out and um, uh, that's about it for this video guys. Sorry. I was kind of all over the place, but uh, it's been a busy week All right. Talk to you later